Okay, good afternoon. Oh, that was a bit of a loud slap, wasn't it? My name's Linda, and I'm in my kitchen. Now, if you are seeing this, you are either watching it on YouTube or watching it on uh, my Facebook page, Linda's Kind Love You, or you're watching it on my um, group for bread makers called Our Daily Bread. Now, what we did on that group is I put a bit of a shout out at the beginning of the week and says, you know, we have just, and I just have to thank you, we have just finished our seven day there went a course and it was fantastic. So we made a, there went a bug. And then what we did after that, we made there went a bread. So now I said to people, what do you want to know next? So I gave them a choice. There were two choices that we had. One of them was about uh, maintaining the maintenance of your bug. And the second choice was about just hints and tips for bread making. And I just want to say, I am not a baker, a bread maker, okay? I'm a person that loves making bread and I'm very passionate about teaching people, but I am not a professional bread maker, okay? Uh, I did train as a chef. Uh, but I'm not, I didn't specialize in bread making or anything like that. I just love doing this. I love teaching you. So what people wanted to know when I asked them, they want to know, how do I look after this, this uh, starter? Now I've got it. What, what, do I, what do I do with it? How do I maintain it? So during our seven day um, course, we made enough bug that you could probably get one, two, three, maybe three large loaves out of that. And the reason why I wanted to do that is I wanted you to make, to make at least two loaves and then you could give some away. Okay, you could give an, another loaf away, you could give some of your starter bug away. But there will be, but some of you may have now been there, done that, and I want to put my bug to my, my sourdough starter. I want to put it to, to sleep, to bed. Okay, so there's two things I'm going to show you today. One is, is if you're going to put it to sleep. To bed it's not euthanizing it it is just putting it in so it's going to rest and it's going to go to sleep and then you can leave it leave it in the fridge indefinitely and then can pull it out and wake it up again and i have got this bug here this uh sourdough starter this has been in the fridge i made this in 2018 i'm going to bring it close to you okay so that was 2000 2018 and i when i put this little this bad boy to sleep I just put it in a glass jar, put on the lid, stick it in the fridge, and it has been there ever since. Why have I done this with this particular bug? Because at that stage I kind of, I wasn't overdoing this, but I lost my confidence a bit, so I had stopped and I took a step back from the winner and I still wanted to preserve this as my original starter that I made. So we've got that. Now, to maintain your bug. There's two things that you may want to maintain your bug because you are going to be making bread on a regular basis or you could be maintaining your bug because you're about to give it away. Okay, so there are three things, three things that go, actually four things that go into your, your starter. Now that is water, flour, there is potato in here and if you want, completely optional, there is sugar. That's it. Nothing else. So you know exactly what's in there. So this is, I'm assuming this actually could be vegan. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pour some of this out so you can actually have a look. And, and just so you know, I have just fed this, so it's a little bit lumpy. So can you see that? Oh, that's probably better. So this is this is the, your your starter. Now you may just want to keep this. You you may not want to build it up here again to quite a lot, and that's okay. I make bread every day, so that's why I keep a you know a regular supply. And I've got three I've got three starters going. I've got two sitting here on the oven at the moment because I have got a roast chicken in there, so I'm keeping those nice and warm. And I will be making bread tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be making bread tomorrow. And then I've got this little this little bad boy, which is the one that we made with our course. And I will I would say I'll probably use that on Sunday. 
because I'll be making bread tomorrow, I'll be making bread on Sunday, I'll be bread making bread on Monday. However, you may only want to keep a little bit of that of this bug, starter bug. You need at least two cups for a large loaf of bread or one cup for a small loaf of bread and you always want to have a little bit in reserve because then you keep on building it up. And if you just want to keep this at this constant, you know, you don't want to grow this anymore, you, your starter still needs to be fed. So it still gets hungry and you might find that when it gets quite smells, quite you know, acidy and vinegary, it's hungry, it needs something to eat. So you need to feed it with something. What I do, if I want to keep, I don't want to grow this and make it gargantuan, but I still want it to be eating, and because it, it's, it's living, it's a living thing, is I will one day may put a dessert spoon of flour in there, give it a mix up, and that's it, it's got something to eat. The next day I could, might put a dessert spoon of sugar in there and mix it up, yeah. And then the, the day after that, I may put water in there, just a little bit of water and mix it up and just, you know, just keep it, keep it going. Just give it a little something and it could be like every other day or maybe every three days, but just give it a little something. And if it's starting to smell like really, really like vinegar and that, feed it, it needs something to eat. So put some sugar in there or put some flour in there and put some water in there. So you can alternate. You don't have to put all three in every day. It's just that you're just putting something in there. It's just like throwing, it's like throwing crumbs. You know, just throwing crumbs. You know, I'm thinking, going, that I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want to get any fatter. If this bug's going, I don't want to get any fatter, but I still need to eat. Okay, and it could be that intermittent fasting, or, or however you want to call that. So you just put something in there, and then it'll just still eating, and that's fine. Do not, if you are using your bar, your starter bug for cooking, do don't put an airtight lid on there because all the gas is in there, you know, you, they could, you could have an explosion on your hands and I don't want that on my conscience, I really don't. I don't, I'd hate to think what the mess would look like. When I put this to bed, I did put a lid on there and it's sleeping, it's in hibernation. So it's just, it's just in the fridge, it's in hibernation. And what I will do is I might put this into hibernation as well. So I've got plenty, plenty to go around. So that, is about maintaining your starter. And if you have any questions, and I mean any questions at all, please, 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 just put them in the comments. So on your on your Facebook comments, you can put them in there, just put them in there and I will uh, answer them. And I would love you to go to my YouTube channel, which is Linda's Kai Love You, and you're probably there at the moment because I would have put this up on YouTube and then uh, sent a link through to Facebook. Please subscribe. That would be fantastic. We really want to build our community of bakers, cooks, artisan cooks, you know, people who are trying to learn, people who want to share, and it'd be really great if you're over there. So I have got our YouTube channel called Linda's Kai Love You, and that's Linda with a Y. I have a Facebook page, which is Linda's Kai Love You. And I also have a group, which is dedicated for bread makers, which is called Our Daily Bread. And please, you can join that group. And that's, we do a lot of collaboration there. We're looking at different recipes. Someone shared the other day about making crumpets and I made those crumpets. I made sourdough crumpets. They were absolutely delicious. And so, so there's lots of, there's a really big community out there. And that's what we do. And you might want to have a question about bread making that you want to put up there. And there's always somebody that can answer your question. And if they can't answer your question, let somebody will go and try and find out. And that's what I do. So we have all of that. It's a great little community. I absolutely love it. My passion is teaching and it is teaching people how to make bread. Because when I teach you how to make this Rewena Buck and then I teach you how to make Rewena bread, your family will never ever go hungry. And there are some people out there right now that is absolutely struggling. You know, the, we're on the coalface, you know, the world has changed forever and some people are absolutely struggling. I want those people, I want that group, our community, our whanau, I want to teach them or us. Because you know what? None of us have been immune to what has actually happened through COVID-19. Absolutely no one. Everybody has been affected in one way, shape or form. 
So that's for me. That was our bug maintenance. So I'm just going to go over everything again. When you don't want to grow your bug, but you still want to use it, as I said, I always go with dessert spoon. So a dessert spoon, two dessert spoons is a tablespoon. Two teaspoons is a dessert spoon. Ah, so I, I, you can still feed your starter and you might do it every day or might do it every other day or you know every third day. You know, it takes a bit for these for these to, to go kaput. So what I tend to do is if I don't want it to grow anymore, but I still want it to make a loaf of bread, I leave it out, I don't put it in the fridge. I put a maybe a dessert spoon of sugar in there one day, give it a stir up, maybe it. The next day or day after, I'll put a dessert spoon of flour in there, mix it up, leave it, and put water in, just a little bit of water. So we've got that, that's what you do. If you want to put your bug um, into hibernation, your starter, then put a little bit in a jar, put a lid on here, put it in the fridge, it will go to sleep. And then when you want to, uh, when you want it to, to live again, you will bring it out, bring it out to room temperature, and then you start, um, then you will start the process of building it up. If you have a bug that somebody has gifted you, so this is an idea. So somebody may have given you 50, say 50 mils of a starter. So with that 50 mils of starter, you want to build it up and build it up and build it up until you've got about that much. Okay, so you put equal amounts of flour and water to the weighed amount of the bug. And you do that every day. So it'll increase every day. So the first day, if you've got 50 mils of your starter, you'll put 50 mils of flour and 50 mils of lukewarm water and you will mix that in there and leave it for 24 hours. Now that will then make 50. Okay, so you've got 50 mils of your, your starter. You so 50 mils, sorry, you will have 100 mils of your starter. So then you put 100 grams, yes, 100 grams of flour and 100 mils of water. So you want it to be the same weight. So it's the same for, so you want the, the starter that you've got to have the same weight as the, the, the food that you're actually putting in there to grow that. And then the next day, so then that takes you to... So you've got 50, and then 50 makes 100, you put 100, that's two. And again, you do that again the next day. And so, yes, you can go for seven days. And the reason why I did my seven day course, because I wanted you to get a reasonable amount of, of uh, starter here. But also, we need to learn patience. Because things do not happen overnight. And patience is a virtue. And in this world today, everybody wants something now. They want it, yeah, we want it now. Whoa, 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 now. Well, in bread making, the best things you wait. When you are rising your, your Lewena bread, because we don't use yeast at all. You know, I, I made this. I'm going to show you this loaf. I made this loaf this morning. It's a little bit brown on one side. I made this loaf this morning. So this is a little wee loaf. And I actually made three little wee loaves. Two of them are going to a client. And the third one, we are going to have for dinner tonight. Now, this I made at eight o'clock in the morning. And I know it was eight o'clock because my children wanted to lift to school. And they kept on asking me when I was going to be ready. And I said, I will be ready when I have finished this. I put this in the oven at three o'clock in the afternoon. Patience. I did put my oven on for a little bit and then I put it on and I put a little, I have a, um, I have a blanket, you know, it's not a blanket that we sleep in, it's something that I just use now, it's a, a quilt that I use only for keeping, uh, keeping food warm, as in the starters and the bread when it's proving. I put that on for a couple of hours and then I just, you know, and that was rising. So everything takes time when it comes to bread making. And if you are in a hurry, then this is probably not something that you want to do. So, you know, it, it, because it's patience and patience, learning patience, patience is a virtue. You know, when we do that, then we're putting all our love and we're putting all our energy into this bread instead of feeling whole hard because things haven't happened in the, the same amount of time that you want them to. My daughter has just come into the room. 
So she's going to stay there until we say goodbye. So I'm going to say goodbye to you now because my daughter will want to come past here. And I hope that that gave you all the information that you needed to know about maintaining your, your rewena bug and also about how to grow a bug that you, uh, a starter bug that you have been gifted. So thank you so much, my whanau. Absolutely much love, much love, much love. Make great bread. Subscribe to my channels. Fantastic, and I'm just kind of you. Kaki te whanau.